We leave you tonight with a trip to the past when the future was still shiny and bright. The dreamers of 1967 imagined a world full of monorails, habitats, and geodesic domes. Montreal's Expo 67 made that vision a reality. Here's CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Geneviève Beauchemin 50 years later. Time has erased much of what was once Expo 67. Though for many, half a century hasn't faded memories of the fair that transformed a city and perhaps a country, too. Hey friends, hey friends, come on over. over six months, Expo 67 brought the world to Canada's welcoming doorstep. Avant-garde pavilions displayed the colors of many nations, among the most famous, the U.S. geodesic dome. So many memories. Uh... Diana Nicholson worked to organize Expo 67. Among her many duties, training some of the hostesses. It was shaping a cosmopolitan community and also all of us learning a little bit about each other. It was a formidable task that began with building islands in the midst of the St. Lawrence. Canada. The theme was man in his world. It was the 60s. And in the midst of the Cold War, nations found a warm place for a party. Many of the millions of visitors have held on to their Expo passport. Expo 67 necktie. Bruno Paul Stenson was five then, and so enthralled he's since amassed an impressive collection that's now part of a museum display. To mark the anniversary, film producers premiered Expo 67 Mission Impossible, a thriller of a documentary on those they call the mad men and women who made an oversized dream a reality. Today, they're building walls, and these people of Expo 67 thought that, no, it's possible to, to build bridges. Among them, the so-called mayor of Expo, Philippe de gaspé Beaubien, was in charge of the fair. The only other thing that I've seen unite Canadians this much was a war. Today, he's 90 years old. The country needed that. The province needed that. The young people needed that. His hope now to inspire others to dream of more for humanity and the world. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.